Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. Let's go over what you might see in an invoice for QuickBooks, including your company ID, the QuickBooks services you're paying for, and where you'll see any discounts you're receiving. We'll also cover why you might receive more than one invoice in a billing period. To look at your billing history, select Settings, Subscriptions and Billing, then select Billing Details. To download your invoice for QuickBooks, select Export to PDF, and then open the PDF. Here you see the invoice number and the total dollar amount you paid. The date shows when you paid the invoice. You'll also see how you paid and the payment authorization code. You can see the period of service you paid for next to each subscription. You'll also see your billing address and company ID. This is a unique number assigned to your QuickBooks company. You can also see this in QuickBooks if you press Control, Alt or Command, and question mark. From this window, you'll see your company ID and a list of keyboard shortcuts. Back to the invoice. In the Billing Summary section, you'll see a summary of the QuickBooks subscriptions you pay for. Each line lists a type of subscription and how many of that subscription you pay for. Then, in the Billing by Client section, you'll see the number of clients you paid for and a detailed description of each client's subscriptions. Note that each subscription a client has appears as a separate line. You'll see their company's QuickBooks subscription, and if they have QuickBooks Payroll, you'll see it as a separate line, along with a line for what you paid based on their number of active employees. Each line lists the number of charges, how much you pay for each, and the total for that subscription. Then you'll see a total listed for each client. If you receive a discount for a subscription, you'll see the amount of the discount and when it expires. If a client is new, QuickBooks notes it next to the client's name. Last, the invoice totals all of your client's subscriptions in this section. You might also receive a second invoice if your payment failed. Now you know what's on an invoice for QuickBooks, so you can better understand what you're paying for.